Hello again. This is take number two. So let's get it right this time. Mainly it's the video camera on my phone. But uh, I had <clears throat> some people asking questions about how to properly use a magic pipe. And I only found one video on YouTube and wasn't extremely helpful. Just kind of showed it in action. So I'm going to do this in detail. Um, some people don't use magic pipe. And Qualitex doesn't even make it anymore. But if enough people want it, maybe it can come back. I like it for my neolunes. It makes it just very easy to insert them inside of here and do what you want to do. This is how I like to do it. Once you want to take one inflated balloon. I burped this, but you might want to leave it tight. <clears throat> then you take your magic pipe and drop into it whatever one you want to put in the balloon. Now here's where the trick comes. Um, if you know the magic pipe, you see that little circle right up there. That's got a pin in it that can poke. And so, yep, those things will fall up. Sorry, testing, testing. Here we go. So, what you do is you place it, not on the knot, but on the edge of the balloon, and you insert it into the balloon and then grab it. So you are holding the balloon around there, creating a seal. That's the trick, because somebody was saying that the whole balloon popped. But you see, when I bring it down, it pops that section of the balloon. My palm balls go inside, and then I pinch and twist here, let go. And you can see that just a little bit of that balloon right here has popped. So I can take the rest and tie it off. And then you're good to go. So whatever method you've got for inserting pom-poms, neoloons, whatever, by all means, do what you like. Um, with the neoloons, I really like what the Magic Pipe does for me because I like to put it into a lot of different ones. I've discussed it in Facebook. So now you've got the tutorial. And for your benefit, I'll do it one more time. Push in, create a seal, pop the balloon, hit it like crazy to make the thing come out, which it's not, so that's my problem, but anyway, grab it, mine broke off on the end, but you see it didn't break the whole balloon, so I can still tie it and have an intact balloon. Hope this helps, bye!